smells so good. I just want to eat a brownie. Ugh, it's making me hungry. What's up guys, it's McKenna and literally Halloween is tomorrow. And I'm doing some last minute prepping and making some cute things and I still haven't decorated my porch for Halloween. So I wanted to bring you guys along and make some fun and delicious Halloween inspired treats and decorate some pumpkins, of course, and throw a little bit of cuteness to my door and my porch. So I wanted to bring you guys along. So we're just going to do some fun stuff today. And if you guys have not decorated your porch or need to do any last minute prep for Halloween, you still have time. You have until it gets dark. So I literally just took a trip to the grocery store and the dollar store. That's it. So the dollar store definitely has stuff left. Um, they always have really cute stuff, especially for like holiday decor that you're only gonna use for a little bit of time. I mean, I never wanna spend a lot of money on that stuff, so you, prob you guys probably don't want to either. So you can just stop by the dollar store. I even took a sneak peek at all of the Christmas stuff that they were putting out. So cute. It's like cutest little unicorn, sparkly, ornaments and all sorts of stuff. So we're definitely gonna be stopping by the dollar store for Christmas, but if you haven't shopped for Halloween, you can definitely stop by the dollar store and look at what they have. I've got some cute stuff. So let's get started on making some Halloween treats and we're gonna make brownie ghosts. So brownie marshmallow ghosts. So what you're going to need is a pan, right? And we're just going to mix this Betty Crocker milk chocolate fudge brownie. Betty, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Betty Crocker milk chocolate fudge brownie mix. That was a lot to say. And we are just gonna mix it according to what it says on the box, literally. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna pop them in the oven and then decorate them after they're done because I'm pretty sure that this takes like 40 minutes to make. Wait, is this a nine by nine? Just follow the directions and we're gonna pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 42 minutes. So it's ready to go in the oven. The oven is preheated. We're gonna put this in the oven for 42 minutes and then stick a little toothpick inside to see if it's done. Okay, so we have to kill 42 minutes. So while that's cooking, we're gonna start decorating our pumpkins. So let's do that and then we can finish up our brownies and then move on to the porch. So now it's time to get started on our pumpkin decorating. I picked up this really cute spider from the 99 cent store, which is super odd. It was the only one at that location, but I, I hope they have it at other locations so you guys can get it too because animal print is really in for fall as it always is, but specifically for this year. So I just thought it was the cutest thing. So I'm going to do like a, um, kind of like a spider web design on my front porch, on my door. So I kind of wanted to go in the same color palette as this kind of like animal print vibe. So I, mean, I have two big pumpkins for each side of the door and then kind of some smaller size pumpkins for like kind of decorating around. So I think what I'm gonna do is paint the two large size pumpkins pure white, then having like kind of like a drip design in metallic gold on them, and then decorate the three smaller pumpkins in this like rust color and like a tan color, and then this kind of like ashy blue which I think will be really pretty. And then doing a kind of leopard print design on some of them. So we'll see how this goes, I'm not sure. But I'm going to start by painting the base of the design. So let's start with the smaller ones and work our way up to the big ones. So let's start with a safe color. So using this tan color, I'm gonna leave the stems natural just because I like them natural. Pumpkins are in pumpkin patches and it'd be dirty there. So. Definitely wipe down so it's not like dirtying your paint. I'm in my living room. If you guys haven't seen my last video where I completely decorated my living room for fall, definitely check it out. I'll link it up top so that you guys can click over and check that out if you haven't decorated for fall yet because you have like, it's like a month before Thanksgiving or a little less than a month, I guess, because Halloween's tomorrow. But you guys should definitely decorate if you haven't. Your room, your dorm room, your bathroom. I don't know. And I'm just using acrylic paint. 
nothing crazy. Also by not painting the stem, it gives you something to hang on to. Ooh, I like this color. Oh my god. Just using like a smaller brush to go around the stem if you're not gonna paint it like I'm not going to paint it. Because my house smells so good with those brownies cooking. My mouth's watering. <laughs> It smells so good! I actually like this better than carving. I don't know why, it's like carving pumpkins is fun, like figuring out what you're gonna carve, but then it's... It's kind of gross and I don't know, I get frustrated if it doesn't come out the way I want it to and you're like sawing and carving and pulling guts out and... This is a lot more fun. And a lot faster. <gasps> Our brownies are done. Okay, I'm gonna pull the brownies out of the oven and let them cool down so that we can keep decorating them and then we're gonna continue working on our pumpkins. So BRB. This light color is looking like it's going to need a third coat. So I'm gonna do a third coat on this small pumpkin and then paint these white and then let them dry a little bit and, and we're going to decorate them. I just finished painting all of the pumpkins, so while that's drying, I'm gonna get started decorating our ghost brownie marshmallow treats. Okay, so the brownies are all done and cooled, so what we're gonna do is cut them into squares. I am by no means a baker or a professional baker, but you know, occasionally I make some stuff that tastes pretty good, so I get by. Let's put it that way. Looks like we have 16 squares, so we're gonna be making 16 ghost marshmallow brownie treats. So once you have all of your brownies cut out, you're gonna take your marshmallows and just put it right on top. Next, you're gonna need a cup so that you can melt your white chocolate morsels so that we can make the ghost kind of sheet, if you will. Just gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil in the cup as well so that it makes it a little softer when we melt these together and a little more liquid. I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave just for a little bit of time so that it starts to melt and then mix it up. So once you mix up your white chocolate morsels, um, it's gonna be pretty liquidy like this. That's why we put the oil inside so that we could spread it evenly. So we're just going to pour it over the marshmallow. We're going to go back and add our little bitty ghost faces onto the white chocolate overlay. After you pour on the white chocolate, I just popped it into the fridge just for a few minutes so that it would really start to harden so that we could actually put the gel on top. So we're just gonna take our gel. So now that the brownies are all finished and I already ate two of them, it's time to finish decorating our pumpkins. So I'm gonna start with this color, I think, and this is where I'm gonna make the leopard print. Um, so I'm going to use a metallic gold acrylic paint. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go with it and see how it works because if I hate it, I'll just paint over it. So this isn't exactly like leopard print, it's more of just like a, a spotted print, but I think it's pretty cute. And I'll do the light color one in leopard print with like a deep rust color, maybe this color, and then some black outlines, more cheetah-esque. You know guys, you just try things out and if they don't work out, you just try something else because you never know what you're capable of until you try. So that's what we're doing today. So taking your smaller brush, let's see if that looks good around. What do you guys think? I think it's really cute. So let's keep going with that. Okay, so for the blue one, I think I wanna keep it pretty simple. 
just kind of use like a feathering brush to kind of like make the metallic gold kind of wispy on top. Next, we're gonna get started on the porch and everything but the pumpkins I just picked up from the dollar store. So I picked up this twig wreath for the center of the door and then I'm just kind of draping over some spider webs to give it a kind of a spooky look. I also wanna cover all of the windows, the window panes on each side of the door as well as the door itself with spider webs as well. At the dollar store, they had these little garden stake skull fence looking things. So I got two of those for each side of the door to give it a little bit of a grounded look. And then I'm just going to attach some spider webs onto that as well. Next, I'm going to place the pumpkins right in front of that on each side of the door, kind of framing it out. Adding a few more spider webs and then putting in, of course, my leopard print spider find from the 99 cent store and finishing off with a few more spider webs. ready for Halloween. My porch is inviting for trick-or-treaters even though I'm not gonna be here and we have some yummy treats. So if you guys haven't watched my DIY dog costume video with Kinsley, definitely check it out. I'll link it up above and in the down bar below. I have a new video every week on fun DIYs for your home and your life and your everything in between. So definitely hit the subscribe button and if you like this last minute Halloween treats and decor video, definitely hit the like button below and we will see you guys next week. Bye guys.